So we're back with a brand new game for Rants to Review. This is Dumb Ways to Die, the card game. Uh, it is a game based on the viral video and the song from like people's TikToks and whatnot, where you kind of laugh about ways to die. Uh, also, there's a game based on it as well, where uh, you have the little beans and you want them to survive, but they can die. Uh, so the game has 52 cards, 15 ways to die, and they die of doom. So let's open it up. I'll show you what comes inside, and we'll talk a little bit about how the game works. I do love the really cute artwork of all the ways that they're dying. Got the little rule book here. Very simplistic looking to use. And then we've got two collections of cards. I like this really big die. It looks like it has one, two, and three. You've got two ones, or yeah, one, one. And you've got three twos, and you've got two threes. Nice. Now we have the cards here. These are cute little cards. These are deaths on them. So I guess eating poison. This is a house fire. Oh, selling your kidneys. Uh, bees. <laughs> it's eating glue. Uh, bear attack. And a washer machine, train tracks, uh, hunting accident, hair fire, snake bite, piranha bite, electrocution, and the fork and toaster, uh, your head exploding in space, and then this one here is you fly upside down. <laughs> this deck right here. You have a bunch of cards, different type of things. And then you have dead cards here. Go for a ride to save one bean to play train. Okay. Let's find out what the rules are. So the way the game works is all players get three bean cards. These cards represent their lives. And so on your turn, also by the way, just for, everyone gets to draw five cards. And on your turn, you roll the die, and the die denotes how many actions you have to perform on your turn. During this phase, anyone has a psycho or Death card, accident card, you take them, you discard them, and you draw back up. No one starts with these cards because these cards don't sit in your hand. You also do not deal with um, death cards from your hand because deaths are only played off the top there. So for instance, on my turn, I would draw a roll and I have to do two actions. Now I can play cards from my hand or I can draw cards, but I have two actions and they leave one or the other. So for instance, I will play accident. I would play an accident card down and I can choose somebody to put an accident upon. So this is a uh, roller coaster ride accident where someone's falling out of a roller coaster. I could say, I want this player to deal with it. So on this point, it goes to them and the only way they can prevent it is if they're able to play and enjoy nature to save one being to play a nature card. So on your card, you'll look and you'll see, do any of these accident cards, like this one here, 
have a tree. This one definitely does. This one here is really cool. This is the Relax card. It has all three different types of negate cards on there. So you can use that, but you want to hold on to that because you already have the um, Swimming with Sharks card. So play that. That will cancel the accident. And then those get discarded. That's one of my actions. Now, if I have another accident card, I can play that or I can draw. So I'll just draw. And I got a brand new accident card I can add to my hand. You're going to want to be kind of secretive about what you get. You don't want people to know unless they're specific to the red border cards just have to be played because you don't want people to know what kind of defenses you have against them. For this person's turn, they'll roll the die, and they have three actions they have to go through. So on this one, they'll play an accident. It is being hit by a train. On me, I have to have a nature card, which I do not have. So I will basically have to lose one of my beans. And it's the one with the, the, the sold his kidneys and they burst. So dead. <laughs> and now their next turn they're gonna play. They'll play this accident card of falling of bird being attacked by birds for stealing the eggs on him. And having a relax card will prevent that from happening and stopping it. Now he only has one more turn left from the die roll. And he has another accident card that they'll play and they'll play it on me. So on this one, it's fierce to being getting your tongue caught in a fan. I have no commuter or train card. So I unfortunately lose another life. And that is my turn and their turn. Now for this player's turn, one. So they can choose to do one card. They're gonna draw. And it's another relax card. Lucky duck. <laughs> my turn again, and it's one. And I will play set everything on fire. All players starting to your left draw two cards. Uh, and you draw, I draw last. Remaining actions are canceled. So they have to draw two cards. Then I draw two cards. Their turn. Three again. And he's going to play Blind Luck. Take a card from the player on his left hand, blindly. And he's going to play Blind Luck. And take a card from their hand, blindly. And then he's going to play Blind Luck. Take one more card from their hand. And that is three actions two actions for them. If you don't have any cards in your hands, your only option is to draw up from the pile that you have to take actions. Um, with two to draw and worry that there might be a death there, they're going to play rearrange, and then he gets to look at the top three cards and rearrange them. So he's going to put the relax on top, and then for a second action, draw the relax. Two actions. I am going to play set everything on fire again. Then draw two. They draw two. And then I have to draw two. Luckily. I am not dead. There is no card limit in the game. You can um, draw up as many cards as you can. You play them and discard them once they're played. He gets two. He's gonna play an accent on me. It is a magnet with flying knives. So I have to have a commuter card to save myself. And unfortunately, 
I do not have it. So my character is dead. Game continues though. And now it's between these two. So he's gonna play accident on him with the second move. And they need to have a tree, which they don't have, but they're gonna use one of their relaxes to prevent death. And now it's their turn again. Two turns. I'm gonna play sneak peek to look at the other player's hands. And then he's going to draw a card. He's gonna play rearranged. He's gonna keep them the way they are. Draw one and then play it. So he has to have a house card, prevent death. He does not, but he's going to play his last relaxed card to prevent another death. And now it's his turn. It's three. He's going to play fair trade. Swap all cards in your hand with a player of your choice to take all of his cards. Nice. And then for a second one, he's going to play Rearrange. The top three. Put that on top and then draw the last card. Two. One. Two. Uh oh, it's a three. So I'm going to draw. Then draw, then draw. Whew, I'm guessing all those death cards got to the bottom of the pile. So three, he's gonna play accident. So he needs to have a commuter card. He'll play the relax card and an accident. Play another relax card, got all the relaxes. And then he will draw. Rearranged. Take the last card. Three. Fair trade. Let's trade the whole hand. Draw a card, and then he's going to play Accident. Requires a home card, which he doesn't have. So finally, this player loses one of his beans. Getting close to the final end of the game. So last his turn, he gets to roll one. Um, he is going to play Wheel of Misfortune, which forces the other player to discard two cards. And then draw two. That might have been a dangerous move for him. Two plays, play that one. Doesn't have an ability to stop it. Another bean dead. And he's gonna play this accident card. And again, another bean dead. At this point, he is the only player with beans left. So this player here would win. So you win the game is just being the last one with beans. So it's a pretty fun, fast paced game. Um, you'll see people die pretty regularly but it's okay um the game is just fun and easy to do um but i like the the style the theme of death being a major factor into it um and the death cards are pretty hilarious there's one more thing i want to talk about before we go um it is the psycho attack card so when this card is pulled up or shown up on the screen everyone starting with the player um, whose turn it is has to roll the dice any other actions that are on that person's turn are canceled and closed out. That also means the, the burn card that basically makes everyone draw two cards, that also stops immediately as well. And then each player has to roll. And if you do not get a one like that, then you have to lose a bean. There's no way to stop it, no relaxed cards or anything. Psycho cards are a fast way to clear out beans all around the board. 
Hope you guys have an interesting. Hopefully you guys pick up this game for yourself and your family for your next game night. We'll see you guys next time.